We give you all your honor. Unto you, O Lord, there is no one like you that we can compare. Oh, my majesty, my Lord, my King, my sovereignty. Oh, forever and forever. Oh, many present. Oh, many saints. Everlasting God. You are the King of Kings, the King of hosts. Tell me the glory. Tell me your honor. And yeah, you. And you are sitting in our body. Oh, that you are sitting. Yeah, you are here. Upon let us be quiet, please. Let us be quiet before him. He's talking to you and I with a small voice. You know your, he knows your heart, he knows my heart. Oh, Jesus. So, Jamal, if you're on the line, give us one song. Mama, my dear, catch your says, I did it. Oh, okay. Aha. Okay, I'm sorry. Media Sida. Thank you. We have done so much. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
That's why you are the savior that saved mankind. Thank because you. on the cross, you said Amen. it is finished. Yes. Oh, we praise you. Yes, Lord. We Lord. honor you. We Amen. magnify Amen. the name. Amen. The name alone is Jehovah. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Your sovereignty yes, is forever. Yes. The rest of the service is in your hand. Yes, Lord. Father, Amen. the person that you have prepared, it is empty. Yes. But speak through him. Mm. So that your word will come like a fire yes. from Amen. our text. Oh, Jesus. We thank you and thank you and thank you. When it comes to worship, we don't know. How far we, we have to worship you all the time and stand before you because yes. this is why you created us to come and worship you mm -hmm. as it is done in heaven. Yes. We thank you Amen. for what you have done for us. Amen. May your will, only your will, your will shall be done on Amen. our lives. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Master Jesus, Amen. lovely Father. We give you all the glory in your Amen. mighty name. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And in Tima Washington, I'm money at twenty seven five yemre and more na I could bear one hour. Yet I got a fine female cream, money at twenty minutes in a bear, ya papa so bar. O preacher, I'll not subet him the prayer point about me a bomb pie at you. Okay, prophet. Thank you. Um, Anna, my cousin, the bab near me, I am money, I will be a because I'm a present. It's a little bit of a woman, I do mona. I am my name, how be a amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Once again, it is a wonderful pleasure to be here on this platform with you. We say to God be the glory. Amen. May his Amen. holy name be praised from sea to shining sea. Amen. And may his will be done in your lives and in our lives Amen. as we Amen. declare his mighty name. Amen. May he forever be glorified. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Let us Amen. pray, my precious ones. Oh, Lord God Almighty, give up life. We are... Hey, close the door. Magdalene shall give to Papa. Bye bye. Oh. Hello, Daddy. Amen. 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 You are not bonfire. You are not bonfire. You are not bonfire. You are not bonfire. Every Amen and amen. Yes, I lost you for a minute. Amen. amen. So, Father amen. God, yes, Holy Spirit, we invite you without your presence as we can do nothing. Pray through oh, us, Lord. speak through us, and to amen. feed us, O oh Lord. At the end of it, honor and glory will be yours, for we will sh you share with no hour, uh, we share with no man, rather, and we will wholeheartedly ascribe it unto you. Amen. We thank you, mighty God, again and again for everything. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. 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 What a Savior. Let us be seated in his wonderful presence. And we are going to the title of our message. This afternoon is the God who does wonders. The God who alone does wonders. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like we said, sometimes 
we have to also talk about God and let us know who he truly is. Mm -hmm. That is, even though he's a God of judgment and fire and everything, he loves us and he's gracious and he's a good God. Mm -hmm. We are going to look at the wonders that God is able to do. We know that in the universe, only God can do wonders. Yes. When Satan does wonders, the Bible says it is lying, mm. wonders, and signs. In um, in Second Thessalonians 2, 94, when Satan does wonders, he said it is lying, signs, and wonders. But when God does wonders, it is the true wonders. Mm. Because he alone is God and he alone is worthy. Mm. He does wonders to glorify his name. But Satan does wonders to deceive man. So this afternoon, we want to look at the God who does wonders. And the title of, I will take it from Exodus 15, 11. Exodus 15, 11. Exodus 15, 11. We say, who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Mm -hmm. Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, and doing wonders? That's it. That's the song we just sung. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? This is the first this passage is the first time that the Israelites sang this song to praise the living God. It is very sad to note that all throughout the 40 years on the desert with them, these people never praise God. Not once. They never thank him for anything. But when God divided the Red Sea, parted the Red Sea for them to walk on dry land. They, they have no choice but to praise him. Yes, they have no choice. This time they have to sing praises unto him because they know that the Lord is worthy and praise is long over thee. That is why we praise God. We praise and worship him because of who he is. And we praise and worship him because of the wonders that he does. Yeah. We praise and worship him for his mercies that abound to us. We praise and worship him for the wonderful gift of salvation oh, amen. that he has given to man. We yeah. praise and worship him because he doesn't deal with us according to the multitude of our many transgressions and sins, iniquities and indiscretions. Mm -hmm. We praise and worship him because he is good and his mercies endure. So he's worthy. I am not worthy of praise, but God is worthy because he has the power to destroy us when we were living in sin. And yet he bears with us he sustains us. The Bible says he causes his son to rise on the wicked and the good alike. He sends that rain. Those who believe and those who do not. Those who do ritual killing. No matter what, God is merciful. Look at what Satan is doing. Sending multitude to hellfire. And yet God is watching because he has appointed a time where he himself will be judged and put into the lake of fire forever. So God is the only God who does wonders. No one in the universe can do wonders like the living God. That is why Jesus said, if you do not believe, watch the miracles that I do. Buddha did not perform any miracle. No. Harris Krishna did not perform any miracle. Muhammad did not perform any miracle, even the Quran. The name of Jesus appears more than the prophet Muhammad himself. Mm. Yes, read the Quran and find out. 
Joseph Smith did not perform any miracle. All the religion without Jesus Christ, they are all bogus and fake. Mm -hmm. And they are all useless. There is no life at all because Jesus alone in John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one, absolutely no one comes to the Father except through me. So if there's any religion that doesn't have Jesus as the center, hmm. it has no, it, it is just the work of Satan to deceive people and to, this, and to send them to hellfire. That's it. To create many religions. And the goal is to deceive man. He is a deceiver. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's able to deceive. He, he was able to deceive one third of the angelic hosts and brought them here on earth. These are the angels that God cursed and now they have become demons. Some have become uh, what occults and all those are uh, most of the, all those things. They were the fallen angels. Mm -hmm. Yes, he deceived them. That's why we said he's terrible. But thank God we serve the God who does wonders. And today, my prayer is that as we hear his message, the God of wonders will come through for us in Jesus' name. Amen. And my Amen. prayer is that God will do wonders in our lives. Amen. 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 Yes, God will do wonders if we expect and if we live holy for him and wait for him. He will do wonders in our life because he does wonders every day. To wake up is a wonder. To go and come is a want. Yes, he does wonders every day. We know God for many things. We know him as a miracle working God. We know him as prayer answering God. We know him as covenant keeping God. We know him as destiny changing God. We know him as fire answering God. We know him as, yes, miracle working God. I said it. But we must also know, we must also know you must wonder working God. He does wonders. And I cannot begin to talk about all his wonders. The things that the Lord God Almighty has done, time will fail us. We won't even have time if we are to talk about all his attributes and the wonders. If you look at the wonder of creation, if you look at the wonder of salvation, how God became a man and died for us. It is, it is, it captures your imagination. How Virgin Mary miraculously became pregnant. That is why Luke, God said, is there anything with God? Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible for Almighty God. He alone is self sustaining. He al alone is self-sufficient. He is sufficient in himself. He sustains himself. Yes, he doesn't need anyone to sustain him. He doesn't need anyone to provide for him. He doesn't need anyone to do anything for him. But we cannot sustain ourselves. We cannot sustain ourselves and we cannot exist by ourselves. We need the air, we need food, we need his power. We are limited, but he is not. He is a God who does wonders. What is wonder? Wonder is something that cannot logically be explained with human reasoning. Something that is beyond the realm of human reasoning is what we call wonder. And God does it multitude. He does it, he, he did it times without number through his servant, Jesus Christ. And he did it when Jesus walked on the planet Earth. He did it with salvation. When after Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, and after Malachi, Matthew came, that is the first book of the New Testament. And there was a period of 400 years that nobody, no prophet, nobody heard from God. Mm. That is the period between Malachi and Matthew. And that period called the intertestamental period where God, according to theologians, was putting the work of salvation in place. How he's planning to deliver his children. 
And it was miracles, signs, how God managed to come as human and to live and die and purchase us back. Even Satan himself didn't have any idea. He didn't think about the grace of God. He didn't think about his mercy. He didn't think about his favor because he thought that when he himself rebelled against God, God didn't give him another chance. So when Adam sinned, Satan thought that we would never have another chance. But God in his mercy, God in his unconditional love, he gave us another chance. And the reason is because we didn't see God physically, but Satan, who was, who was once Lucifer, they saw God. They saw how, how majestic he is. They saw how opulent and splendor this God is. And yet they chose to rebel against him. That is why they didn't have another chance. But we human beings, God gave us another chance when Adam fell. And we say that God is a God who does wonders. And he is wonderful indeed because he, he is in heaven and he can see what everybody else is doing. You know, the sun is about 93 million miles from the earth. The sun is far away indeed. And those are just the atmospheric pressure, uh, atmospheric heavens, the atmosphere that we see. Beyond that, we go to the second heavens where Satan principalities and powers dwell. And then we go to the third heavens where God Almighty. So it could be millions and millions because if we have a second heaven, then we must have first. And we, if we have a third heaven, we must have first and second. And yet God can hear your prayer. God can see billions of people on planet Earth. God can see everyone. He knows the condition of your, of your heart. He knows your motive. He knows who you are, whether you are truly for him or not. He knows when you will die. He knows when you... He knows everything. He said even the hair, the, the strand of hair on your head, he has counted it all. Can you imagine the God who sits in heaven and his feet is on the ground, on the earth here? He said, can anyone hide somewhere that I cannot see? If you go to hell, my eyes are there. If you go to, if you come to earth, this is where my feet is. If you go to heaven, my throne is there. Where can you hide? Uh, where can you hide, rather, that I cannot see you? It is such a God not to be feared and reverently worship. The God who sits in heaven and sees everyone. Billions of people on planet Earth, he sees everyone. He knows everyone. He is indeed a wonderful God. He is. His ways are unsearchable. His deeds are incomprehensible. He is a mighty God indeed. The God that caused the hand of Jeroboam to wither when he pointed it at the priest, his hand withered right away. The God who protected die, a lion, you know this, you know it. From the, uh, uh, as a lion, protected Daniel from the lions then in Daniel. Yes, lions that have been kept for like weeks without food. God, God turned them into cops and they didn't eat uh, Daniel. The God uh, who uh, was able to deliver Shadrach, Mezak, and Abednego from the fiery furnace of Nebuchadnezzar. And uh, even the people that threw them in the suggest the fire burned them, but they stayed in the fire and nothing. They didn't even smell of smoke. He is indeed a mighty God. We need to fear him. We need to truly, truly believe him. The sad thing about life is that we do not fear God at all. We do not fear him. Only human beings give God problems. The animals that God didn't create in his image, they don't give him problems. Only humans 
that a man will marry his fellow man. Mm. The he goat upon Tikran and Yonko upon Tibema won that. But we humans, we do that. We are the only people that grieve the heart of God. We are also the only, all the, of all of his creation. We are the crowning achievement of his creation. Why? Because the Bible said he created us in his image. That is why the Bible said we are the apple of his eyes. And that is why throughout the pages of scripture, God has never demanded human sacrifice. But you know, Ghana and everywhere, if you want to do, do ritual killings, Satan would quickly, the, the, the beggarly gods would quickly demand human blood. But God, who created and loves us so much that he will never demand a human sacrifice. That sacrifice a human being. Mm. to me. No, God will never, but the powers of darkness will quickly okay. demand human blood. For even pastors even sacrifice humans to do the work of God that God has not even commissioned them. Mm. Humans kill other humans for nothing out of envy. They kill people for, uh, for money rituals. They kill people just because they hate them. We do all this because we don't fear God. How a child is formed in the womb, it's miracles. How God can cause the rain to shine, uh, the rain to fall, and the sun, that is 93 million miles, we can feel the heat here on earth. 93 million miles. Isn't hmm. that wonderful? Wow, surely. And if the earth, if the earth is like the mosquito, the sun is like my head. It's huge. The earth can go into the sun like even hundred times. That is how huge the sun is, and it's a mighty gas burning, ninety three million miles, and you can feel the heat here on earth. Is such a God not to be reverently feared and worshipped? The God who created the gargantuan universe, the mighty ocean. If you look at the intricate design of his handwork, the perfect constitution of the human body and human anatomy. The amazing complexities of the human brain. The way our brain is fashioned. It is soft tissue and yet it can think and is powerful using about 60% of the human uh, 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 what's called energy and power. The brain is powerful. And yet, if you cut this brain, it's only soft tissues, tarsus and the capias, cerebrum and cerebrum. He is a mighty God in him. He is to be feared. Jesus said, don't fear the one who can kill you only, but fear the one who can kill you and take your soul to hellfire. And only God can do that. He's a mighty God. Let us fear him. So before we round up our message, the question is, why do we not see the God of wonders in our life? Why? The question is, God is a mighty God. Every good and perfect gift, James 1 said, comes from him. For the father of light, and yet we do not seek, we do not see his wonders in our life. And yet many people don't seek him. Many people go about their merry ways. They have no fear at all for him. How many billions of people wake up without ever thanking him for anything? Even Christians. How many wake up and spend even five minutes in his presence saying that thank you for a new day? I commit my ways into your hands. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. How many, even in the body of Christ, will spend just 10 minutes in his presence? How many want to do his will? And how many want to live a holy life for him? How many truly 
obey him. And how many of us are afraid of him? We are not. Because he's a long-suffering God. By the time will come, his mercy will come to an end. Time will come, mercy will be no more. That is why you and I have to redeem the time. Because the time will come if you don't die. Mercy will be no more and a time will come where you will never have another chance to get it right again. So the reason why we do not see the God of wonders in our life, let me in First Chronicles 28, 9 said, if you seek him, he will be found by you. And Jeremiah 29, 13, the Lord said, after you have sought for me, with all your heart, you shall find me. The point is that many people look for God, but we don't look for him with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind. We just look for God half-fastedly. We read his word half-fastedly. We hear his message. And the next week, we have forgotten everything. I don't know why we are not, including myself, to be truly committed for the, uh, to the things of God and for his glory. The way he loves us and gave himself for us and purchased us back, sent his son to die, to redeem us from sin and pave the way to the father by, by sitting down at the right hand side of the almighty God and interceding for you and I in our sinful nature the Lord is still merciful for the Bible says the Lord will abundantly pardon but the point is we hear a message of grace every day are we going to sin day in and day as so grace may abound Apostle Paul said God forbid you don't drive your car and hit another car because you have insurance. Insurance is there to protect in the event of eventuality, but not to intentionally. So you are not going to sin because of grace. But if you fall into sin, then grace will help you out. But you will not willfully sin because of grace. And the reason why we don't see the work of God or we don't see his wonders in our, our life, many of us today, especially in the body of Christ, is simply, if you go to Second Chronicles 7, 14, God said, if my people are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear their prayer and heal their land. So God has given us the recipe is to seek his face, Turn from our wicked ways, pray. Then what will happen? The Lord will hear us. So the reason is because many of us don't seek his face. We don't turn from our wicked ways. And there are times too when God intends that you go through pain and suffering. You remember Jesus said, for the glory of God, this man has gone through, the, for the glory of God, God allowed Lazarus to die for four days. So that everybody will know that if you are dead for four days and smelling, God is able to even resurrect you for his glory. So sometimes he does things for his glory. And sometimes he wants his children to go through suffering and pain because it strengthens us and makes us better people. Like I always say to you, Solomon, of all the kings, he was the one that never, want to, that never went to war. Solomon, King Solomon. All the kings of Israel, he, his father David was, he went to war against the Amalek, Amalekites, the Canaanites, the Philistines, the Jebusites, the Hivites, the Hittites, the Jebusites. But Solomon never went to war. Why? He married all the nations around him. He married the, the kings, their daughters. So if he's your son-in-law, will you come and fight him? Of course not. And all the money and the blessings and the honor that, so gave, uh, that God gave him. He was also the first king who built idols in high priests for his many wives in Israel. The person that the Lord has blessed so much. The person that the Lord God has revealed himself two times to him. And said, ask what you want. He said, wisdom. And the Lord said, I will give you wisdom. 
and even what you didn't ask for, I will give it to you money. But if you will worship me like your father, then I will lengthen your days. I will give you a long life, like Abraham. Mm -hmm. What did he do? Mm -hmm. God, he didn't listen. So he died at the age of 70 with all these women and he built idols for his wives. Can you imagine that God has revealed himself to you and the things that he promised you has come to pass. Everything that God said to you, he has done for you. How do you turn your back on this God to build idols for your wife? Something that God hates. And if you look at life now, people that have money, they are the ones that have nothing to do with God. Nothing. Those that really, really have money, those that have power, they don't want to have anything to do with God. Forgetting that God has blessed them and put them in that position. If God caused them to be blind, they won't be able to have any power. If God caused them to lose their mind, they will never rise to that position of prominence. But in spite of all the power and money, billionaires in this world, less than 1% believe there is God. Of all the billionaires, less than 1% believe there's a God somewhere. Hmm. And they forget easily that they will soon die and leave all their monies behind. All of them. They will perish and their monies will be left behind and they themselves will go and face hellfire. Yes. That's why Jesus said it will be very difficult for a rich man to make it to heaven. Unless that's why John Wesley gave his money away. Because he said that's the only way you can conquer greed. Many are sitting on money. And because of that, they don't care about God. And they will die suddenly and leave it all behind. So he said that in spite of all that God has done, his power and his wonders, we are not afraid of him at all. And we hardly care about him. How else can someone kill a pastor killed his own mother so that his church will grow. And, and not afraid of God when he goes to stand at the pulpit. How can a pastor sacrifice his own wife for power and stand in the pulpit and preach and he's not afraid? How can a pastor bury a human being in his church so that he will stand and preach so people, multitude will come and he's not afraid that God can see him. And the Bible says, because punishment doesn't come right away, the sons of men have so give, have resorted to doing evil because they can get away with it. But suddenly, judgment will come. God is to be feared. He's a wonderful God. He can see everything. He does wonders. But we must not take him for granted because he is also a consuming fire and we should not forget that. That as much as he loves us, as much as he cares and is willing to do anything for us, he can also judge you. Yes, and he is fierce in his judgment. If his own son, if he can die on the cross shamefully for mankind, know that sin is grievous and this God who does wonders will also punish us if we live anyhow. So we should be afraid of him. Not afraid that we can't even call on his name, but afraid when we are going to sin. We should be afraid because if God can sit in heaven and see everything that you do and even examine your heart, the content of your character and your motive, you should be afraid of such a God. So I'm going to end my message. My prophet said so that we can have time to pray. It's very important to prayer. Yes, it is the master key. And my prayer is that as we pray, the Lord will use our prayer to scatter wickedness in the realms of the spirit. Use our prayer to deliver the lost souls. Use our prayer to 
bring multitude into his kingdom. Even if not on this platform, wherever they are, the Muslims will begin to uh, come to Jesus, the Hindus, the Harish Krishnas, the, uh, the uh, Jehovah Witnesses, and the Catholics who know that it is not Jesus, it, uh, it is not uh, Mary, it is Jesus. It is not Buddhist, it is not Buddha, rather. It is Jesus. It is not Joseph Smith, and it is Jesus and Jesus alone, because he's the only one died on the cross. He's the only one that resurrected. He's the only one that said in John 14, 2, that I go to fair a place, for in my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. No, none of the religious leaders promised that. Why? Because they didn't even know where they were going. But Jesus alone knew. So he said, I am going to prepare a place for my children. And he's the only one that resurrected. Buddha is still in his grave. Hindu is there. Muhammad is in his damn grave. Harish Krishna is there. Joseph Smith is there. And all these other false religions. Yes, Shintoists and all that. They are dead. Every one of them in his grave. But only Jesus' grave is empty. Yes. And that tells you that power belongs to him. May his holy name be praised. And because he's risen, we can also, we will rise again. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we should not be at fear. Let us follow him and let us serve him. Let us carry our cross and suffer for him, for the one who has promised he's faithful and he's a wonderful God and he is mighty and he will make a way where there seems to be no way. May his wonderful name be praised. As you hear this message, not to be afraid of him, but to know that God will judge you based on what you do, the content of So let us be rather afraid of sin and not be afraid of him, per se, because he is merciful and he's also a God of wrath. Let us see God that way. Many pastors portray God as God of love and justice and kindness. That is good. And yes, it's true. But they forget to tell us that in Hebrew 29, Hebrew 12, 29, he says that he's also a consuming fire. Like I said, the God who created wonders of heaven also created the horrors of hell fire. The God who created the crown of glory also mm. created the crown of thorns. Let us remember that. The God who gave life also brought death. He gave the sun. He also brought very cold weather that you will shiver. He brought happiness he also brought pain. Let us see him in that light. That every step we take and everything we say and our deeds and thoughts, let us ask if it is pleasing and acceptable in his sight. We are going to stand and pray. May Jesus, may his holy name ever be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's all quiet today. Don't be afraid. The Lord is still in his holy temple and he will make a way for you. And there me. is no way. Yes, he will make a way. Don't be afraid. Just trust in him and say, Father, break me and use me for your glory. That my name at the end of my life here, Jehovah, let it be written in that book of life. You are going to pray and say, Father, I surrender. I give you my heart. I give you my body. I surrender unto you. You know, God has given you your free will. Jesus gave you your free will. That is why he doesn't work against you unless he said, that's why he said, whosoever will make come. God will never take you away from you. God will never, never, unless you give it to him, unless you surrender and say, spirit of the living God, break me and use me for your glory. If anything is in me that is not of you, strip it out. Amen. Make me a vessel precious, yes, sanctified for your use, and use me for your glory. Any way you can, I surrender all, Thank my you. precious Redeemer. I want you to pray that prayer. That Father, I have come in my sinful nature, but I surrender. I surrender my will. I surrender my will. I surrender my desire. I surrender. 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 I
in the area of my child. my life oh my lord my let me know you boy. I I 
we are still in prayer jesus selected 12 disciples and one was a, was a, a de the devil Yes, he walked with Jesus, but the spirit was still in him, Judas. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Liberius, uh, Liberion, the spirit of greed. He, of all the miracles that Jesus performed, this man was not afraid of him. He sold him for 30 pieces of silver. That is how the human heart and wickedness is. We are going to go to God. And say, Father, examine me, O oh Lord. If anything in me would take me to hellfire, oh Jehovah, take it out. I want to come and stand before you blameless. I don't want to come with sins and baggage, oh Jehovah. On earth, here, Father, do wonders of me before I die. For when I die, it will be too late. Bible says it's appointed unto man to die once and judgment. Mm -hmm. Once you cross your eye, it's all over. Nothing can be done for you. If you were to go to hell, it's forever. Whether they pray for you or not, whether when you die and they say you are a good man and if you know you are a bad person, whether they say he's going to rest in hell, he's going to, he's never going to hell, you he said he's going to hell. We are going to go to God and Father, examine me. The content of my character as I stand before you. If I am morally weak, strengthen me. If I fall short, empower me. If my light is not burning, let it burn brighter, O oh Jehovah. When I fall short, feel me. For Jehovah, you are mighty, but I am weak. Touch me, O oh Lord. I touch of Thank <laughs> you. 
the bible says the bible says we we have eyes but we cannot see yes we have ears and we don't hear we don't mm-hmm. even know what tomorrow may bring mm-hmm. as we stand and pray to god we don't know in the year 2021 that is why god said in isaiah 45 that i will go before you and make the crooked past straight. may the god of abraham isaac and israel go before you in the year 21 and oh, make okay. every crooked past straight. make the over feel every a valley in your way, level mountains in your way. May Jehovah break demonic change Jesus, and amen. every trap of evil say ha, has set before you in the year 2021. Oh, and may Jehovah give you treasures hidden in secret and dark places that his name will be glorified mm. in the name of Jesus. May amen. healing be your portion, may amen. favor be your portion. Mm. May the Lord damage your ignorance amen. and amen. destroy your pride amen. and fill you with the strength. And may his angels go before you. Amen. Amen. It's that well in the year 2021. Amen. Cast your unto Jesus and Father. Amen. I have Amen. eyes, but I cannot see. I am weak, but thou art my sweet. Oh, oh spirit Lord. of the living God, go before me. Break the money chains in my wings. Oh, 
Jesus knows. He knew that blind Bartimaeus had issues, but he was going to pass him by until he cried out. The God Almighty said, whosoever will may come. He said, come all who labor and are heavy laden. I, the Lord, will give you rest. There is nothing more powerful than a man crying to God that, Father, I need help. I stand in need of prayer concerning my children. I stand in need of prayer concerning my ministry. I stand in need of prayer concerning my finances, concerning my children and my relationship, concerning my relationship to you, concerning my spiritual, my work with you. Father, I Amen. need a talk. I need for the Holy Spirit to fill me. I Amen. need to, I need to, to thank you, Lord, for your use. Spirit of the living God, 
Heal me and use me. Open your mouth and tell you. Tell you. Tell you. Tell you. Tell you. Give you thanks and give you glory, Father. Oh, I come to you, Lord. You are the Lord of the the heaven of God. You give us rest. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Give you Amen. Yes, our time is going first. So we have two more prayer points. We will never pray without praying for in prayer of intercessory. It is the only prayer that when you pray, you don't pray amiss. We went to our umpire pray amiss. That is prayer via. There's nothing wrong. But when you pray for others, it is powerful. My prayer is that every time I go on my knees, 90% of my prayers will be for others. And as you do that, God who does things for others will visit you in a powerful way. Now, how you are money now with your bomb pie moon and go for you set yourself aside in spite of all the challenges you face, in spite of the difficulties and the attacks. 
you are praying for
Jesus Christ. Amen. They are great for pillar of pride ministry that the, the ministry will grow. We also pray that not just grow in numbers, but we grow in grace and in spiritual strength in the name of Jesus. And the Lord will use us mightily. And we leave the prophet that healing has manifested and we give thanks. And anyone that is sick, may Jehovah, the ones that we know what are any hidden disease shall be healed in Jesus' name. Yes. 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 As the spirit of the Lord falls upon the Zoom and deliver us from every work of the enemy. And may the Lord expand and extend our territories also. And after yes. thanking, yes. Obi- to pray, 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 pray. Father God, we and amen. 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 If I'm a choice, you are dancing here with me, the bar. I dance here. Amen. And you're meeting my name. Amen. I'm a pump to do a dance here with me, the bar. You'll be doing what you are meeting my dance here. Amen. Amen. If you last week in our mentia pana, amen. And I'm some man who didn't mean to be a crew of being who needs a man. Ah, and to be a crew of the Macassa. The few last week, the two and you may not watch your goodness of him, you can hear to him one and pump bubble bomb a motum. Yep, a pump bomb pie green so I say my in your boy, my in your bomb pie, mammy. I'm pumping the missile to you soon as you be. And may we am the missile, I was our sam and what to a moody soon was our sam and what to a moo. Said the Amitrian Crow for more me and a dano. Yap the monk, who crowned our man from Punin in our gritty. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yo, Namia, you cry, or yet. I don't want to go on yet. I was saying, Oh, Ebenezer, and I may. Why, yes, she had an assay, even my little prophet about a new Sawabas. I can see one so I want to find you saying that you drew good. And what one of your children are born in the fry, and ready to see another moment. My yard sign, I can see one so. It's also soon was some sign at war, and there are didn't send me a womb put to my family. Nanya for womb. I had a said to your woman in this that they give the issue and sign your case. You want to so, what I didn't cast out to me, Traniso. Now I had a sign your complete, not on the casting and moon away yet. And no, you know, 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 and I see the empire bar of which will be sir with me, be sir. But give me by choice, empire bar, my papa. Yeah, you need now, my papa won't you cry? But see that she ain't yet. It's in crop, 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 and one one way this will be on your end. If you all know, if you live with two mom pages, said and says, and the patron here, my patch, I mean, just say, you know, sir, one name you come away and not be be all right. I feel afraid of me and why didn't Diana? Ah, and you may not feel the same way, Dan. Won't you bomb pie and won't you make a kind of horse as you know, you need him? Or send a cheap, and when I'm young, you have if I'm a child, daddy, me patch of vampire man, mammy. I don't go in our suit. I don't mean I go bong. And I was so young from here. Abedian, so we are suffering. I mean, I was small as some less science, and they are small as some say I am a son of your papa. She's a man by a cassette when he said, Those when I'm mere boy, I am a sedu aman who said. Obasanjo <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, so who